Hey everybody, Ethan Griddle Cooks here, repping my Blackstone. Uh, today we are cooking a dish inspired by Blackstone Betty. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to have for lunch. It's going to be a breakfast dish. It's going to be like a goulash, a little bit of everything mixed together. Um, so let's see how it goes. First things first, we're going to get our bacon started. I'm going to throw a little oil down because we're going to be putting our uh, tater tots in that oil. We're going to get these tots going, get nice and cooked. We're going to be putting our gravy right on the black stone to start heating that up. Put a little bit more oil down right here because we are going to be sauteing our vegetables. And then to get this gravy back into more of a gravy rather than a chunky substance of what it is, we're going to be tossing in some milk. And then we're just going to take this gravy and stir in this milk and it's going to turn into a nice creamy consistency again. Let that gravy absorb all that milk. And we'll put it back on there to heat up. To speed things up, I am going to move my pots over. And this far burner, I will put on a medium. Just turned it up right now. Give it a little bit more oil. Bacon's ready to be uh, flipped over. Now that these onions and peppers are starting to saute a little bit, get translucent, we're going to be putting in our mushrooms. I always like to do mushrooms later because they will burn faster. Like always, I forget plates. So, my wire rack, some paper towels are going to be have to be suffice for my bacon. Bacon's about done. So for these hash browns, or they're going to be makeshift hash browns for these tater tots. We're going to make them into hash browns. And so what I'm going to do, drizzle them with some more oil. It almost actually looks, you know, a little shallow fry. It's gonna get a nice and golden crispy brown. But what I'm gonna do, take my flat spatula, set it over a nice good chunk of them, and press down. And then I want these in two separate sections. And you'll see why a little later. But we're just going to let these get hardened up nice and crispy. Now our vegetables are looking mighty fine. Looking mighty fine. Got some nice color. We're going to slide these all the way up because, believe it or not, 
black stones have a cool spot which is usually up front because the burners they're not directly under this front part they're more back like right here and so it's significantly cooler up here in the front so I'll spread these out a little bit keep them as close to the edge as I can and follow me our gravy is heating up nicely let's give this a stir oh yeah it's looking mighty nice and so now that this gravy is to the point of its boiling I'm turning this far left burner off blackstone is cast iron so it retains heat for a long time, so it'll be plenty warm. All right, I'm gonna remove this wire rack with the bacon on it. Set it off to the side. I am going to be trying these egg rings that I got for Christmas. Never tried them yet. So, you guys will be the first to see. Actually, Let's give these a flip. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful, look at that crispiness right there. That's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my far right burner off that was on medium high to off. And uh, that, that, those will still cook, so the other side will get nice and crispy also still, so. Back to my egg rings. We're gonna be doing some fried eggs. I'm gonna take some uh, cooking spray and just spray these down. Just cause uh, I've heard horror stories of the eggs sticking to the sides of those rings. But uh, yeah, let's give these a shot. I'm not quite sure how they're gonna turn out to be honest. And uh, I don't know how everybody else has their setup, but off to the side, I keep a little tiny trash can with little, uh, you know, plastic grocery bags that you get from like Walmart and stuff when you take home. And that's where my trash goes. Get some color. Uh, around those eggs, that's because I never cleared off the bacon grease, and so that's what you're seeing there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sprinkle these with some pepper, and let's go ahead and use a little bit of a uh, blackstone breakfast seasoning. How about that? Do a little nice dusting. sure that these uh, eggs have set so I'm gonna lift these out nice perfect round eggs pretty cool all right while those eggs cook we are gonna get started on the rest finish this dish up move these out of the way a little bit Set my uh, wire rack down. We're gonna dish ourselves up. Got 
that down. I'm kind of winging it, by the way. Like, I've never made this before. So we're gonna throw some bacon down. We're gonna do our veggies that are off to the side. Take our sunny side eggs that are right here. Put one on each side. We are going to sprinkle some cheese. some of our sausage gravy. It's gonna help that cheese melt. Again, this is just a concoction that I'm just winging by the seat of my pants, kind of inspired by Blackstone Betty. I know she has a dish like this, <clears throat> but this one's a little bit different. cheese and lastly we're going to garnish with just a few tomatoes on top And then we're going to do another dusting of Blackstone Seasoning Breakfast Blend. And the last step is going to be melting the cheese. So let's get your squirt bottle with some water. Covered. Take a look. I think it looks pretty good. Here we go. It's pretty dang good.